Hey guys, so Tawny here. I have not done a video in an insane amount of time and I am so sorry for that. Um, it's been way too long. Like way too long. And I don't have any excuses. Um, it's kind of hard to keep up with booktubing um, and a lot of things have changed in my life within these last couple of months. But I'm excited to be back and of course what better way to make my comeback other than a really awesome book haul and I don't know that I'm going to be reading any of these um, this month but they are some of the books that I've purchased recently and so I'm going to go ahead and show those to you guys. The first book that I'm going to show you guys um, is one that actually my boyfriend recommended to me. Uh, we were at our local bookstore and yes he supports my addiction. The book that we actually ended up picking up is The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Better, and I have never read these. Um, my boyfriend said that they're really awesome and his mom loves them too, so I thought I would go ahead and give them a try, so I'm excited for that. This next book that I picked up, I have been looking at for so many weeks at Books A Million and I kept thinking, no, no, just wait, just wait, find it at Chamberlain's. And I could never find it at Chamberlain's, so I actually ended up just going ahead and picking it up because I get 10% off there anyways. The book I picked up is The Probability of Miracles, a novel by Wendy Wonder, and I just really, the cover of this book caught my attention. Look at how pretty it is. It's purple and pink and orange and it's got feathers and it's just all the good things that a book can have on it. So. I love this and I'm really excited to read it. Um, I honestly don't know too much about it. Like I said, the cover just kind of caught my eye and I was like, it's time. It is time. This third book in my book haul, um, actually I saw on booktube before I kind of got out of the habit of recording and everything, um, but it just seems like such a really cool spin on an old fairy tale and that is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This book, holy cow. Um, it just, it seems so interesting because, let me just read the back for you. Your mission, remove the tin wood man's heart, steal the scarecrow's brain, take the lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. This book just seems so interesting and oh my gosh to think that Dorothy's evil. I think that's what this book's about. I'm not entirely sure but I thought I would give it a try just because it seemed so awesome. And look at the cover. I mean, it just is like... BAM! Right in your face. And of course I had to pick it up. So I can't wait to read this. And I'm I'm interested to see how they make her evil or why her and her little group and all kind of ended up being mad, I guess. I'm not sure, but this is going to be a really good read. This fourth book is actually, I believe, um, connected with The Book Thief. And it is a book um, by Marcus Zusak. And it is I Am the Messenger. I really loved The Book Thief. It, it was such a touching, amazing novel and I actually read it for one of my college classes and I just, I, I didn't want to put it down and then at the very end I was just like, my heart is broken forever. And so why not want to do that to yourself a second time? This book uh, that's coming up next, I actually have read previously and um, I flew through it within a couple of days. It's, it's not very long to read or very hard to read, but it really is just a great novel and um, I might have done a book review on it previously, I'm not sure, but it is Wonder by R.J. Palacio and this book, if you have not read it, it is a kind of a middle grade book, but it is beautiful. Beautifully written, beautiful characters, just beautiful all around and I would so recommend it to you. If you have not read it, you need to get it and just embrace it because it's beautiful. If I didn't already say that. <laughs> so this last book on my list is a rather old novel um, by a fantastic author, one of my favorites. The book I am referring to is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I found this at my local bookstore again with my boyfriend and of course I had to get it because I'm pretty sure this is one of the first editions, if not one of the first couple editions, and mm, mm, it's just, it's beautiful. Look at it, and it's in such good condition. I was so excited because it was only eight or ten dollars, I think, and it was eight dollars. Look, look, eight dollars. Ah, it's just, I love Chamberlain's. Such good prices, and I can't wait to read this because if I have read it, I don't remember it. So, 
to get to reread it or to experience it for the first time is going to be wonderful and I think it's just going to be a great read. Stephen King is a great writer and just just awesome in general so I can't wait to read this. Probably one of the things I'm more excited for out of this book haul. Um, I just think that it's going to be awesome and scary and perfect. That that's Those are my thoughts. So there's that. Alright guys, so that was the end of my book haul and I hope that this was a good little reintroduction to me and my book tubing. I would love to keep up with it and to keep going. Um, I'll try to post as much as once a week because that I think is a fair amount and it would be great to get to interact with all of you guys again. I miss the booktube community like crazy. So if you've read any of these books, please comment down below, like and subscribe of course if you like what you watched and I will be seeing you guys very soon. Bye!